good morning one and all my name is salman tella and i'm currently pursuing electronics and communication engineering at rgkt balsar today my seminar topic is electronic nose so whenever we hear this term electronic nose the first thing that comes into our mind is what is electronic nose so let me directly jump into what is electronic nose so the electronic nose is actually a device that is similar to the human nose the electronic nose is a device that detects the smell more efficiently than the human sense of smell so it basically consists of different sensors that is used to detect the smell similarly the human smell human brain does or human nose does so it is an intelligent sensing device that uses an array of gas sensors which are overlapping selectively along with a pattern recognition component in order to detect the odor okay so before getting into or before jumping into the core part of what is electronic nose how it is constructed what are the different components that are involved in electronic nose first we'll know how the human brain or human nose senses the smell because this electronic nose uh, runs on the principle of the same how human brain detects the smell so first we'll know how human brain detects the smell basically the smell is nothing but a vapor uh, a vapor or you can call it a gas of molecules each molecule or each vapor or each order will be containing different molecules of different sizes i mean if you consider three components let's say a b and c a will be having different molecules b will be having different molecules similarly c and those molecules will be of different sizes and shapes so based on the size and the shape the order of the component will be decided so whenever the nose the human nose senses the smell the human nose will be consisting of something called as receptors each uh, the human nose will be having a different receptor for different order so whenever the receptor senses that smell it will convert the smell into the signal in the olfactory system that is present in the human nose and it will send the signal to the human brain and there the human brain process the smell and detects the smell so when the specific receptor receives a molecule it sends the signal to the human brain and brain identifies the smell so this is how human brain detects the smell you can see the diagram here uh, the nose i mean the nose will be having the receptor cells this receptor cells detects the smell so or the process i mean the converting of the smell into the signal will be uh, done in the olfactory bulb that is present in the nose and then here from here the signal will be sent to the human brain a uh, human brain where human brain analyzes the smell so this is how it actually happens similarly the electronic nose also completely runs on the same principle like uh, but with with a small uh, or major difference you can call it so instead of receptors the hum- the electronic nose will be consisting of sensors like there will be a wide range of array of sensors which will detect or which will work accordingly to the different chemicals and instead of human brain electronic nose will be consisting of a computing system where uh, like uh, all this data will be analyzed and the computing system will come to a conclusion like what compound it was okay so uh, e sensing is a popular word that actually uh, you use whenever we discuss about the electronic uh, nose the electronic sensing or e sensing actually refers to the capability of reproducing human senses using sensor arrays and pattern recognition systems okay so basically this e sensing word is used whenever we come across uh, electronic uh, nose okay now we'll jump on to the core concept or core part of the seminar that is working of e nose what it consists of what are the different blocks uh, that the human that the electronic nose consists of and what is the work done by those different blocks okay now uh, working of e nose the electronic nose actually was developed in order to mimic the human olfaction as i said it will be consisting of different arrays of sensors which are able to generate electric signal in response to either simple or complex volatile compounds present in the gaseous sample okay so on briefly uh, this electronic nose consists of three major parts one sample delivery system two the detection system and three the computing system now we'll briefly discuss about all these three systems what is the work <coughs> sorry what is the work done by all these three systems and how the data is operated and the result will be uh, detected okay the first one is the sample delivery system 
in the electronic nose the first block that the electronic nose consists is the sample sample delivery system so basically sample delivery system what it does is it collects the sample whenever the electronic nose detects some smell the sample delivery system uh, it actually collects the sample that is detected by the electronic nose and then it analyzes the sample it basically analyzes the sample and comes to a data it derives a data from the sample and then the data will be injected to the detection system okay so in simple words it just collects the data uh, from the sample and then analyzes the sample extracts the data into it and then it injects the data into the detection system and then the second system or the second block that that is consist uh, that the electronic nose consists of is detection system this is like the heart heart of the electronic nose actually the everything whatever like the detection and everything happens here this is like the core block or you can call it the heart of the electronic nose it basically consists of group of sensors to sense the compound as i said electronic nose will be consisting of the different sensors right so each sensor will be having some work like each sensor will be detecting different chemical so therefore detection system will be consisting of an array of lot of sensors okay each sensor will be detecting a different chemical compound so sensors react to the compound and the response is is recorded by the electronic interface okay and then the whatever the response that has been uh, recorded by the detection system that will be converted into the signal and then a digital value is extracted from that signal now this digital value will be sent to another system called as computing system so in computing system what happens is uh, it will uh, all uh, previously it will be having a database that will be consisting of different uh, digital values corresponding to the different orders now what this computing system does is whatever the data or whatever the value it gets from the computing it, it gets from the detection system it will compare the value with the with the present values that is present in the database okay it will compare the value with the values that is present in the present into the database and then comes to a result like what the smell is what the order was i mean what is the compound that is uh, associated with the uh, order okay well <clears throat> that was the uh, three major components that will present in the electronic nose now uh, yeah see this is the basic actually basic design of electronic nose and this is the basic block diagram of electronic nose so if you see the basic design uh, there is a sample the sample has been collected basically the sample will be in the form of vapor and then the detection system which actually consists of sens sensor arrays i mean a group of sensors so each sensor will be ha will be working according will be working for a different chemical so the sensors that particular sensor will be reacting to the vapor and then coming and then uh, will generate a data the data will be converted into the form of signals that signal will be again converted into the form of digital value and there the digital value will be computed in the computing system i mean comparing it with the already present values of the database and then finally coming to the result and uh, well this is a basic block diagram of the electronic nose as you can see the first the order will be detected and then this order will be delivered to the sensor array chamber where the sensor detects and uh, extracts the data uh, that data will be converted into the signal and the signal and then uh, will be converted into the digital value the digital value will be uh, using pattern recognition and different ml algorithms uh, and by comparing uh, with the already present values in the database will be finally coming to a result okay so this is a basic design of the electronic nose and uh, this is the basic block diagram of the electronic nose now let's uh, see what type of sensors are used actually used in the electronic nose as i said there are a wide range of sensors that are used in the electronic nose like conductivity sensors polymer sensors piezoelectric sensors fed gas sensors optical sensors and many more okay each sensor will be reacting to the different chemical so that the computing system can finally arrive to a conclusion okay so i cannot discuss each and every sensor in detail because that will take a lot of time but i'll be uh, like uh, i'll be specifically will be discussing about uh, you know the polymer sensor so why polymer sensor because uh, it's it's quite interesting basically so all the sensors will be working in the similar manner but i'll be discussing only about the polymer sensor okay so how polymer sensor works actually so polymer sensors will actually be having polymer films as you see this colored uh, components are actually the polymer films this polymer films will be placed on set of electrodes as you see these are electrodes okay so the polymer films will be placed on the electrodes and now what happens is 
these polymer films will react to the different chemicals. Whenever they detect some chemical, uh, the conductivity of these polymer films will be changed. Basically, they will be having a baseline resistance. Okay, if they don't detect any chemical, the baseline resistance will be at the same. But whenever they detect some chemical, the baseline resistance of the of that particular polymer film will be changing and there will be the change in the conductivity. So based on the change in the conductivity, the sensor will collect the data and extract, extract the data and will come to a final data as you see in the pictures. Okay, and that the final data will be sent to the detection system. So this is how uh, the sensors play a major role in electronic nose. Okay, and then see you can see in the picture of different sensors that are actually used in uh, electronic nose. And this is the actually the electronic sen electronic nose that is uh, uh, designed by the uh, team of California in 2000. Basically, the name of this electronic nose is Cyranos 320, which is a handheld electronic nose developed by. Cyrano Sciences of Pasadena, California in 2000. This is one of the efficient, most efficiently working electronic nodes that is present in the world right now. And then, so in this diagram, uh, this diagram specifies what is the major difference between uh, human brain sensing the smell and electronic nose sensing the smell. As you can see, uh, human brain, while human brain sensing the smell, the receptor plays a major role because receptor senses the smell and then the extraction of the data basically happens in the olfactory bulb and then the signals will be sent to the brain where brain decides, brain detects the smell. Similarly, in electronic nose, instead of receptors, we will be using some sensor arrays. The sensor array, array extracts the data and will be sent to the microprocessor, I mean the detection system. The microprocessor from microprocessor the, to the computing system or the final system or the software where the result is actually displayed. Okay. Now let's come to the applications. So what are basically the applications of electronic nose? The first thing that actually comes into mind is we already have a human nose. Then what is the need of electronic nose? Human nose or human brain has the capability to detect each and every order that is present in the world. But, but it can detect the smell, but it cannot detect the compound. Human brain can detect the smell, but it cannot detect the compound that is actually associated with that order. So there, electronic nose plays a major role and the major applications of electronic nose are one is environmental monitoring actually electronic nose uh, can detect the different volatile compounds that are actually causing air pollution water pollution soil pollution thus it helps in environmental monitoring and then the quality control labs so uh, basically there will be uh, the labs will be sto will store a lot of chemical compounds in the electronic uh, in quality control labs so where electronic nose plays a major role in finding the compound we actually need and in the medical diagnosis. So in medical diagnosis, electronic nose plays a major role because for a physician, it's very important to detect the disease based on the order. So it's almost impossible for a physician to detect all the orders. So thus he can use the help of electronic nose and detect the order and thus detect the disease. Okay, that is actually associated with, with that order. And then food industry, this electronic nose has a large market in food industry because that is used for quality control based on the order. Basically foods are, uh, basically uh, the quality control of the foods can be checked only based on the order where electronic nose plays a major role. And then uh, at last the crime prevention, like detecting the explosives, bombs, actually they all can be de detected based on the order and electronic nose plays a major role. So these are just some uh, some few applications of electronic nose and there are actually a lot of applications of the electronic nose. Yeah, that's all for now. I hope uh, you have understood my seminar and uh, uh, you have understood my seminar and, and, and it, it went well. I think it, it almost went well. Thank you.